Well, Justin, give us the size of uh, the European market, because I have to believe if it's anything like the American market, you're going to have a lot of success here. Yes, well, just yesterday, as, as your introduction mentioned, we've yet reached another historic milestone for this company, for patients, and for the field of cannabinoid science. You know, we have 28 countries now in Europe that have approved Epidiolex. We'll be launching these countries over the next year or two. Um, and there's, you know, a market of 500 million people in Europe, and we're very excited. We've obviously had a great experience launching this medication in the United States, benefiting thousands of patients, beating Wall Street estimates by quite some distance. And really, I think the company's in the best shape it's ever been. That's why I wanted to ask you about the Wall Street estimates were so low. Does that mean that Wall Street didn't realize, A, that there were more people who had this affliction, or B, that there was good awareness and therefore you had better sales at the very beginning than anyone could expect? Well, I think awareness of this medication has been as high as I think any medication that I've seen in a pre-launch environment. But I think more important than awareness has been the fact that this is a treatment that is desperately needed by this patient population. Physicians see this as a new advance in epilepsy care and therefore are placing it um, at the forefront of their thinking when it comes to treating uh, these types of epilepsies that for quite some time now have had very few, if any, treatment options. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.